all right guys for this one it's a special one this might be the last video of the month thank you everybody for watching so far it's friday i'm going out to do a special yoga video out in the middle of the ocean on the stand-up paddleboard i need to get out there before the sun rises to capture magic hour i asked my friend who has a drone to see if he could go out and shoot for me and he said yes and here i am i'm getting in the water with my board waiting for the right time to get in i'm gonna try to get in right after this wave breaks i just need to get out there right now the wave just broke and i just need to get the paddle in hop on and just paddle out i think i made it i think i made it just gotta paddle 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 get a little further beyond and i'm in the clear yeah this is it we're good now i went beyond the break now i can chill so I can show you guys some yoga in this special place. It really looks magical like this. Yeah, I should do this more often. All right, let's begin in mountain pose. Stand with your feet together on both feet evenly with your chest proud and your shoulders rolled back and down. And let's begin by raising our arms up, inhale, hands together, and exhale, hands to the heart. One more time, inhale, hands up to the sky, looking up at your hands, exhale, hands to the heart. Again, inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, maybe a slight back bend, exhale, hands to the heart. Bring your forearms together, interlace your fingers and roll them around in a circle while keeping your forearms together just to move the wrists around and warm them up. Just switch directions if you haven't already. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky and swan dive, hands down, step back into plank, lower down slowly. Inhale as you arch up into cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Relax here in downward facing dog just for a moment. Catch your breath. Bring your knees down and let's do a little bit of cat cow. Inhale as you stick your bum out and look up and then exhale round your back tuck your tailbone look at your belly button inhale arch your back exhale round your back inhale arch your back with the hips and exhale round the back tucking your tailbone with your head hanging down come back to neutral Find where center is. Bird dog. Extend the left leg straight back behind you and the right arm forward. Catch your balance here. And when you do, bring your left leg to the left and your right arm to the right. And then bring it back to center. And now bring left knee to right elbow and then extend them straight back. Bring everything back down into tabletop and switch sides. Right leg back, left arm up. Find your balance here, nice and even on both sides. And then bring the right leg to the right. Try to keep the right leg out of the water and the left arm to the left. Right knee to left elbow, bring them together and straighten them back out set everything back down and go into downward facing dog walk your feet 
closer to your hands, slowly, just walk them forward. And inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, forward fold. And I want you to roll up now one vertebrae at a time, taking your sweet time. Just keep the head down as you just roll up until you're completely upright. The head will be the last thing to come up as your shoulders roll backwards and down. And when we get there, let's raise the arms up to the sky and swan dive forward fold. Step the right foot back into a lunge and raise the left arm up. So your right hand is down and your left arm is up and your right, up, right foot is back in a high lunge. Knee lifted off. Set your hands down and step your feet back into plank position. Send the shoulders forward and down to upward facing dog or cobra, your choice. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet up to your hands. Inhale, half forward fold, flattening your back. Exhale, forward fold. Step the left foot back into a lunge and raise your right arm. Might take you a moment here to get situated, if, especially if you're on a stand-up paddleboard, but you want the back knee to be up with your toes tucked as you raise your right arm up. <laughs> These are all possible on the stand-up paddleboard. It's fairly difficult in the ocean, but it can be done. Let's step the feet back into plank. Lower down slowly, upward push-out position. Exhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. Feet together, knees apart. Sit back toward your heels and let your forehead go down to the floor. Just enjoy your breath here. And when you're ready, Come upright and let's get ready for camel pose. Come up on your knees, tuck your toes, both arms come up. Bring your left hand on your left heel and reach your right arm back above you. Then bring that left arm up, switch sides, right hand on your right heel as you reach your left arm back behind you. Now both arms come up and bring the left hand on the left heel, reach the right arm back behind you and then bring it down on the right heel as well. So you're in the full camel pose. And if you're comfortable here, you can even untuck your toes, push the hips forward and then bring the hands up whenever you're ready. Bring the hands down into tabletop and just lay down on your stomach. Let's get ready for bow pose. Bend your knees and raise both feet and thighs up with your head down on the floor. Just keep lifting the feet up toward the sky. and then set them down. And now let's do only the hands. Reach your hands behind you and lift your chest as your hands just keep reaching backwards with your tops of your feet pressing down to help lift your chest up. And then set it down. And now let's combine the two. Raise the feet back up again and raise the thighs up as your arms reach backwards and then grab your ankles and pull your feet away to help lift your chest. To help lift your chest up into a bow pose. You can be looking forward or drop your head down to get different stretches there. And you can just keep pulling your chest open using your feet. Release that. 
And let's have an intermission here as I realized my paddle is missing. And I need to find where it is so I can eventually get back to the shore. <laughs> Let's prepare for boat pose. Simply just sit on your butt with your feet in front of you. Raise your feet off the board. Try to keep the back flat. And then straighten one leg if you want to increase the intensity. Bend it and straighten the other. Or straighten both feet. Then set everything down and lay down on your back with your knees up and your feet flat. Set up for bridge pose. You can grab the sides of your mat or your board and raise your hips up, curl your hips upward so your entire lower and mid back and even part of your upper back goes up off the floor. Squeeze your butt lightly, just to keep it engaged, and then keep your abs super tight. So flex your abs as you lower down one vertebrae at a time, taking your time to go down all the way slowly. Let's do that one more time. Whenever you come down all the way, just bring your hips up, curl your tailbone to lift your hips up, so you get into the bridge pose, hang out there for a couple breaths, and then lower down slowly while flexing your abs really tight. When you come down, let's set up for Shavasana. Shavasana is also known as corpse pose. In this position, we just lay flat on our back with your arms just out by the side maybe with the palms facing up just get comfortable and just relax there are very few moments in the modern society where we get to just relax and do nothing I'm letting you know that right now you could just relax and chill out Stay there for however long you like. Release the breath, let it flow freely, don't think about it. Clear your mind, don't worry about the thoughts that are coming by. Just relax. And thank you for watching. This was shot in Malibu on an early morning. And yes, it was cold. <laughs>